Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 17th of 2024 is titled LDN 1471, a windblown star cavity. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a structure uh, that gives a parabolic shape and it is caused by that bright star near the center of the image. Now the a star actually isn't even a star. It's what we call a protostar. That is a star still in the process of formation. So as material condenses down to form a star under gravity, it will eventually ignite the hydrogen in its core and start fusing that into helium. And that is the point where a protostar becomes a star. That is the final chain. That is the criteria that distinguishes the two. So this one is still a protostar. Now, how does it glow if it's not producing energy? Well, it actually still does have energy from the condensation. As material flows into it, it will heat up. So the star will glow, but much more in an infrared light rather than strong visible light that it may do later. And this was actually first imaged by the Spitzer Space Telescope, which studies the universe in the infrared. Now, these young stars will have very strong stellar winds. Our sun has a solar wind, but it's much weaker. It has died down over time. But when the star is young, the stellar winds are very strong and push outward. And that's kind of what we're seeing is that material pushes out from the star and slowly expands out into space. Now there'd actually be two of these and there'd be one going the other direction. So why don't we see that? Well, that would be because there is so much dust on the other side uh, that it blocks out the light from this. So if there weren't dust there, we'd be able to see more. But of course we wouldn't. But then we would not have the dusty material that gives us some of the parabolic shape that we're looking at today. Now what we're seeing in this glowing parabola is the material as it flows out from the star interacting with gas and dust around it and causing it to glow. We can see a few concentrations of these straight along a line kind of going almost to the middle of the parabola. And those are what are called Herbig Aro objects. And we can see one on either side of the star. So one in the center of the parabola and one off to the upper right a little bit. And these are again, they're not actually stellar objects. They are caused by material as it outflows and strikes other material within the material between the stars. And as that material glows, it can give off energy. So these are stages that a very young star can go through, but they will quickly die down over astronomical time scales and the star will be left alone and all of this other material will have settled down and just become part of the general interstellar medium. So that was our picture of the day for November 17th of 2024. It was titled LDN 1471, a wind blown star cavity. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Bachman. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.